Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Andrea and this is Beauty with Andy. Thank you so much for joining me today. So today I'm going to be trying a few new products on. Um, so I'll tell you what they are. I recently mentioned that I did a Beauty Bay haul. It actually came yesterday. I've already done a demo with the Ofra highlight in Moondance by Ofra and Madison Miller. So I'm not going to be using this in this video this is primarily a wet and wild video i'm using all the products i have i don't have enough to do a full face i was gonna go out and buy a few more products but i need too much i don't have an i don't have a mascara i don't have an eyeliner i don't have a bronzer i don't have setting spray um, I don't have a blush I've got a blush but it's in a duo so we're going to use that today um, yeah mascara I don't know if I've already said that um, so yeah and, and eyeshadow as well I don't have any eyeshadow from them and I don't want to be spending what £20 on other makeup products when I've spent quite a bit this month um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to be testing out this Wet n Wild foundation it's the new dewy one I'm super excited to be testing it out and yes it's only a foundation but guys you can't even get this in the UK um the only place that actually does it if you if you really want this and you are from the UK is Beauty Bay um I think it was £5.95 from Beauty Bay which is really really inexpensive um you get 28 mils 0.95 fluid ounce and it says on the back it just says it's um, my shade soft ivory by the way if you're wondering if you have a similar skin tone to me um, they do soft ivory and then they do another shade I don't think this is the lightest one you know um, but I have the um, original wet and wild foundation and I got that in soft, soft ivory as well so I just thought I'd get this in the same shade because that was a really really good match for me so I'm hoping this one will be it just says hydrates and smooths complexion for a luminous finish, buildable coverage for normal to dry skin, Hyd um, shake well before use. So there's that. And then also with the order I got this. And this was £4.50 and on Amazon with delivery there was wanting £11 and I'm like... I wish I could just get that somewhere um, and pay what the price is. They don't do it, like we do have like a little counter of Wet n Wild products in my local boots, but they don't do a lot of products. Um, and I saw this on Beauty Bay when I was ordering the Ofra highlight. I only wanted the Ofra highlight, but I saw the foundation and I saw this and I've been meaning to try this for so, so long now just because people are saying it's a dupe for the Hourglass powder. I think it's the lightest one and I think that might be dim light. They say this is a bronzer. It's the Wet n Wild Colour Icon Bronzer in Reserve Your Cabana. Everyone talks about this on YouTube. So I'm pumped to know what it's like. Um, so that's that. And then quite a new product. I got this before lockdown. Um, so a couple of months I've had it. Quite a new product is this. So I thought I'd fetch this out. So it's the Highlight and the Blush Duo in the shade Highlight Blink. It's such a great highlighter guys i absolutely love that highlight it's great for pale girls like me and the blush is quite nice as well i mean i've got better blushes in the collection but yeah it's quite nice and then the two older products that i brought out i'm going to be using this as a finishing powder by the way so i brought this out this is the wet and wild photo focus press powder i'm just going to probably use that in my t-zone area um as you can see it's very much loved by me um but yeah there's that and that one is in the shade natural beige and that is part of the photo focus line as well so really really good powder and then the last thing is a lipstick so it's the wet and wild mega last lip color in the shade in the flesh i've got quite a few different ones but this is one of the ones that i've not used in a hot second so i thought i'd bring that out so yeah we're going to be kind of like doing a flashback to some of the products and testing out some of the newer products so i really hope you enjoy the video so let's get into it i need to put some primer on i wish that i would have had a wet and wild primer but i just don't and i don't want to go out and 
and um, buy some more products I just think it's wasteful I don't need them um, and I just don't want to buy them for this video to be honest um, but yeah eventually I might I might get a bronzer um, and like a blush because I, I like them single blushes they do I like the look of them and they're not that expensive so I might build my collection up very very slowly of wet and wild products but I don't have to do it all at once do I um, and be wasteful with my money just for just for the sake of a video I'm not prepared to do it guys I'm sorry um, but I'm just not especially in this current climate that we're in I'm just I haven't put any of that pore filling primer on my forehead I've been getting just so so dry under my eye area as well I definitely need a hydrating concealer I've got this one um, which I'm going to use today this is the PS Perfect liquid concealer so I'm going to use that today that's meant to be hydrating it's got um, vitamin E and aloe vera in it so we're going to be using that um, like I say I don't have a wet and wild one so I can't I can't use it um, right so let me just get that Sephora primer out from the forehead might as well put it all on yeah this is a a pore filling one but I actually don't thing well actually it doesn't say it's pore filling it says it's smoothing um so you can actually see my pores in my nose quite well there uh, um, but never mind i do then need to get a pore filling one but obviously i won't be doing that at the moment right so now foundation time so we're going to be doing a wear test on this and everything yeah, we'll do the wear test on that and I'll give you my true opinions on it. I'm so excited. It's meant to be a really good foundation, this. I've been wanting to try it for ages. Looks quite yellow on the skin, uh, but the other one does as well. And normally have foundations that are a little bit more pink tone than this. And this foundation has a scent to it but it doesn't smell near enough as bad as the other one does the other one smells like paint stripper it's not nice at all so yeah i'm just going to blend it in with the bare minerals precision face brush now this is definitely a favorite i'm going to be doing um a favorites in brushes what brushes i've been liking over the last couple of months probably in the next couple of weeks and if you watch quite a lot of my videos you probably know which ones they are anyway because I'm using them constantly but I just thought I would film it blended in quite nice and another foundation I want to try maybe that's for next month um, the Ordinary's um, Serum Foundation it's really really inexpensive on Beauty Bay but I didn't want to get diff like a lot of different foundations I've got a lot of foundations in my makeup drawer and I'm just trying to use the older ones um, first so yeah but I didn't really want to get more foundations than this one I got this one because I've been after it for so so long ever since I found out they were releasing a dewy one when I got that um, original, I don't think that that is as matte as, I mean it's a matte foundation obviously, but I mean it has a little bit of dewiness to it as well, in my opinion anyway. You can definitely see this one is dewy, it's real real pretty. And my preference, I used to wear a lot of matte foundations, I just don't like it. I like to have a youthful appearance um, 
and I think you, I feel like you get that with dewy um, foundations and I know um, obviously you can make your skin look dewy with highlighter and things like that but I prefer dewy foundations to matte ones that bit needs to be clipped back sorry um, we're completely going off subject just had like a little bump in my hair um, so there aren't any obvious strokes but I'm gonna go in with this blender yeah with this like blender sponge and just go in with my um, Primark glow intensity spray and I was watching the news yesterday on a completely different subject but I have been saying I've been missing shopping at Primark and TK Maxx potentially um, they could be opening a week on Monday so by the time this video goes live it could be open again Primark and TK Maxx which is a dream you take things for granted but when they're taken away from you I know it's on the shops and you know you don't need to be shopping but I actually like going in and seeing what they've got in there. It's not necessarily about just picking like products up to shop. Um, I really, really, really like Primark and I really like TK Maxx as well. So I'll be happy when it opens. What they're saying, the government, they're saying markets and things like that can open on Monday. And then the following Monday, um, then... shops some essential some non-essential shops can open what as long as the social as long as they've got the social distancing measures in place what shops will be opening i don't know it primark might not be one of the shops that are opening depends if they can get one of those like it depends if they can get social distancing measures in place in time um so yeah i mean i'm sure every store wants to reopen don't they i mean they must have been losing so much money and i want to get looking for a job you know when this whole <coughs> lockdown started i was actually lined up for a few job interviews and i've not been able to go to them because of um this whole crisis um so yeah i need to well i need to get back to work yeah so we're using the concealer now by primark it's in the shade porcelain very very light i didn't use to like this doe foot but I'm, i've gotten used to it i prefer the doe foots like that are twice the size of that um but yeah i quite like that right so we'll i'm just gonna go in with this like the pointy end and it's not a full coverage concealer not by any stretch of the imagination it feels really really sheer yeah it's really really sheer this um, concealer right so that's that so while that soaps in a little bit, let's do the brows. Um, so where's my brow? I just wish I had a little um, eyeshadow palette from Wet Wild to try as well, but I, I just don't. I was looking at getting one from Beauty Bay and I just thought, nah, don't spend any more money on this site. Come away, come away from the makeup. Especially eyeshadow palettes. I've just got way too many. Right, so now let's go in with a little bit of this like on the t-zone and i'm going to put a bit under the eyes as well i've never used this for under the eyes but i don't want to use any other powders 
other than the ones I've got here. Right, and because I'm using this as a finishing powder, I'm going to have to leave this till I've got all my makeup on. I don't have a bronzer, so we're going to have to pull a bronzer in from another brand. Um, but I'll try and get the cheapest bronzer, sorry, the most inexpensive bronzer I have in my collection. And we'll do, do it that way. So it's kind of like a drugstore video. Um, so yeah, we'll do that. Um... And that's that okay so do I have any bronzers in here I mean this one is inexpensive in my shop my stash but I feel like I want to use a different one let me go and see what I've got in my makeup drawers guys I completely forgot I got this um, from Boots last time I was there and it's the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette so let's use that as our bronzer so that's good yeah so this is quite a new product as well I got it when I got the highlighter um, it's called Blossom Glow you've all probably heard of it because it's one of Wet n Wild's best sellers um, so yeah I've got that but I'm not using that today I think I may have done a first impressions on that highlighter I'm gonna see if normally I use a different one a lighter shade than that I'm gonna see if I can use that banana shade that are to like kind of sculpt out the um, the bronzer that's working quite well The only thing I don't like about these um, packaging on Wet n Wild products is the flimsy, aren't they? I've got a feeling after a certain amount of time they'd break, just like the Essence one does. Um, well, the, quite a lot of Essence products have broke on me, like the lids and things. Um, and it's so, so frustrating. I know we don't pay a lot of money for it, but you'd think, that it would like kind of make something last doesn't matter how long you've had it um, it should last for the duration of the actual product I think sorry if you can hear like my tumble dryer going in the background I'm just trying to catch up with some chores really I've got a mountain of washing to get to begin on with but I thought well while I'm doing that I may as well film this I've gone a bit overboard on my forehead um, which I always do to be honest but never mind right oh I need to use that banana shade again that banana shade in this contouring palette is really really good but then so is the bronzer like I really struggle to get bronzer um, because it can kind of like look orange on me um, but if you're going lightly with a shade like that then it looks good um, so yeah that's that one so again we've, we've, we're building quite a few products up of wet and wild I didn't used to have anything just the lipsticks um, I saw these like like I said earlier um, just before the lockdown came into place and um, I really really like the look of this they have another one that I like the look of these ones are £6.50 but they're well worth it because you actually get two products so it's like £3.25 each um, so yeah I mean I would recommend it I'm going to go in with this Real Techniques brush here um, looks like some glue is can you see that white thing that looks like some glue's coming out of it the thing is i really really like tk Maxx. i'm gonna go on a bit of a rant just for for a second um so just bear with me a minute i really really love tk Maxx, but i bought brushes from there especially like 
but let me show you this one in a second i bought a few brushes from them the handles come off and real techniques i've had brushes from them for years started collecting their brushes i want to say at least six years ago so i've had some of their brushes and brush sets six years and then you go to tk maxx where they're slightly less expensive and handles come off i mean look at this one this is my prime example i got this one from tk maxx it's a real techniques one 202 and the handle came off it i'm still using it because i really really like it um so yeah i just don't use it a lot i just wanted to tell you about that has anyone else noticed that or is it just me and my bad luck right so i'm going in with a blush it's just one of those rosy glow blushes obviously if you don't like rosy glow blushes or shimmer in your blush it's pointless getting this palette but i know that some of the youtubers have got it for the highlight because the highlight is probably what sells this palette okay whoops now what i want to do is just put a little bit of this spray on so this is the most inexpensive fixing spray i've got in the collection i've only got two anyway um this one came from tj hughes and it is the w7 ready set glow in rose gold it's even more inexpensive than the ones um by wet and wild i think they're about 4.99 5.99 um and i really do want to try the rose one that they do but in my boots they don't have it i think they have it on the beauty bay website but i didn't i didn't get it um and like i said you know i wanted to be selective with the products that i got um so yeah we're gonna put some of this on the face and then go in with the highlighter oh, it smells so so good <sighs> right i'm just gonna run this brush this is what i use the highlighter I use all my highlighters with this brush at the minute i've been doing that for like the last few weeks and i've been really really enjoying it um so yeah we're gonna go in with this side it's just like a really nice white highlighter and obviously it's for like fair skin girls if you are darker if you have a deeper skin tone then it's gonna obviously just probably look like a white stripe on your face which isn't great but they do another free highlighters um so you're bound to find your shade and again they have a little bit of glitter on them um but not so it's not a nice highlight for the price it's an actual real real pretty highlight and i've been saying this in quite a few videos lately I've had I've got the Ofra signature palette, the Ofra Glow one, um, and the highlighters in that palette just aren't as smooth as this one or any of my other drugstore ones, and that's my complaint with it. Um, I, I would have just expect them to be a bit more creamier. I've done a video <coughs> on the Ofra Glow signature palette. Um, and the Madison Miller Moondance um, highlighter that I got yesterday um, just comparing it seeing if the formula is the same and things like that and then doing a demo on the skin so that will be coming really really soon if it's not already up by the time this one goes up it should be because I'm filming this one after obviously I put that one up so so yeah it should go up first um, but I'm just rambling a little bit in this video um right so then what we're going to be doing is going in with this and seeing i mean i've had a little um hourglass palette um but i've like panned it i don't have it at all don't have any of the ambient lighting powders at the minute i've just got the blushes so yeah i'm really really interested to see how this performs on the skin um I don't know why they're calling it a bronzer so this apparently is a bronzer for light skin i mean that a bronzer my dark my foundation's darker than that um so yeah it's obviously not a bronzer quite a lot of people are saying you know it's a good finishing powder and it's um very very similar to what an hourglass product would look like on the skin so let's go in with it i'm just going to buff it into the skin I 
they have darker shades of this as well by the way guys but they, they, they'd all sold out I guess some people do just want to um, use it as a bronzer like it was intended right let's get some light on my face let's get my bigger mirror yeah I see what they mean um, it looks flawless it looks like there's some um, luminescence to it and I'm not talking about the highlight um, the actual face is looking like really luminosity really luminosity it looks like it's got a lot of luminous to it my skin um, so yeah I really really like that and like I put it on my nose area here and it looks like it's minimised my pores as well, unless that's the foundation. I didn't notice that though when I was actually putting the foundation on. Um, so yeah, that is real, real pretty guys. If, you're, if you've got fair skin or if you just want to use it as a finishing powder, I would definitely recommend this. So this is the Wet n Wild Colour Icon Bronzer again. It's in the shade, um, it's not in the shade anything. It's it's in the shade light and um, that's what it says on beauty bay anyway i don't know how i don't know how other sites will like do it and um, but on beauty bay it says it's light and you get 0.46 ounces or 13 grams of product and it lasts for 18 months which it'll be gone in 18 months and definitely i'm going to use it and if i really really like it as much as i like it now this is just first impressions don't forget by the way um if i like it i'm going to get it back up next month um just because it is a really really good one oh i'll tell you a bit more about this wet and wild mega glow contouring palette as well um and this one, so this one is Dolce De Lecce. They've got two. They've got, I think the other one is called Caramel Toffee. And I think I was watching Jessica Braun's channel um, from a very, very long time ago. And she said that the Caramel Toffee one is the dupe for the Marc Jacobs one. Um, the Marc Jacobs one is split panned like this. Um, I, I've n I don't have that in my collection. I don't have any of Marc Jacobs bronzers in my collection. I do want to get one, um, but that won't be for a while yet. Um, so this one again you can keep for 18 months um, like I said it's in the shade Dulce de Lecce if that's how you pronounce it you get 12.5 grams of product um, and 0.44 ounces um, and then the Wet n Wild Hello Halo blusher in highlight bling is you can keep this one for 24 months um and how many grams right i'm even missing something or there's no grams on this product but it just says blush and highlighter duo instantly sculpts and highlights for for a full-on strobe effect and i can yeah i can i can concur with that i mean look at that highlight there um obviously with the light off it's not going to look as bright um, and then this one as well I've had this a while so I've hit pan on this so this is the wet n wild photo focus press powder in neutral beige um, you get 0.26 ounces and you get 7.5 grams in this um, and you can la you, that lasts for like 12 months um, and the thing that I like with wet n wild products any products actually in boost when they have offers on you can get free for two um so you can save a little bit of money um and then this one here the foundation um obviously i told you before you get 28 mils um and you, it lasts for 12 months and it says it's vegan on it as well I've noticed that it doesn't say it's cruelty free anymore they've taken that off um, but it apparently it's still vegan um, so yeah there's that and then lipstick time I think when I was putting the powder on then I disturbed my brow because it's it's um, not looking the best let me just sort that out they are getting a bit thick um right so again um so this is the wet and wild mega last lipstick um it's in the shade 
in the flesh you get 0 0.11 ounces and 3.3 grams not worrying a hot second it's like a really nice mauve toned lipstick So this is what we're looking like with all the Wet n Wild products. I look completely scary. I'm so used to having eyeshadow on and mascara and things like that. Um, I just look so, so scary. Let's put some mascara on. It's not a Wet n Wild one, um, but it is a drugstore one. A fairly, I'm, I want to say cheap all the time. Not cheap, inexpensive. Some people don't like the word cheap, do they? So, yeah, we'll say inexpensive. Um, it's the Collection of Volumizing Mascara. And it's in the shade Ultra Black 17. It says, Create Dramatic All Day Volume Long Lasting Intense Colour Mascara. I'm going to be filming a video in a second. Um, a separate one. Um, using my Urban Decay Naked Free palette again. So I've used that recently. Um, and I'm going to be using my number 7. It's like a highlighter palette but it has all rose gold. And it is, it's not a highlighter palette for me. It's just too dark. So I'm going to be doing a video using those. But I don't want to put it in this video. Because obviously this is meant to be all wet and wild. With a bit of a collection one thrown in. I'm not too convinced of the brush because the brush is that thick product is going on me either so that needs to be wiped away so i don't think i like this as much as my primark one because that that didn't sh that didn't put anything there at all um so yeah but it was worth a try That looks a bit better now that I've got some mascara on, not as scary. So, um, this is the video guys. Hope you've enjoyed a little demo of the new products that I've got from Wet n Wild. There's more products than I actually thought. I, f I completely forgot about this. And I do have another highlighter, like I said, in Blossom Glow. But I wanted to use this. I don't know if I've used this. I've used this um, in a shot my stash but I don't know if I've used it on camera. I've started doing get ready with me using shop my shot my stash products now um, but I don't know if I've used that. So I just wanted to show you what it looked like especially on a fair skinned person. Um, so yeah it looks real real pretty doesn't it. Um, so I'm going to come closer again so you can actually see what the skin looks like. So this is what it's looking like now. Um, I'm just going to get the tap. Right, so it's quite late in the evening. It's tea time. It's half past five. A bit late. Oh, that's gone off. A bit late really to be putting makeup on. But just thought I would. I don't know if you can even see it. No, because it's on a white background. But it's 25 to 6 in the evening. I won't be taking this off for quite a while. I'll be re I'll be coming back regularly to show you what it looks like on the face. Um, so I'm going to make something to eat now for my tea. Um, I need to go to my mum's. I normally go there about 8 o'clock. So we'll come back just before that. Yeah, so two and a half hours and we'll see what it looks like. It should pretty much look the same as it is now, um, to be honest. It shouldn't look any different. Um, and then I'll i'll come back and show you when i come back from my mum's right guys so it's a final check-in so at this point it's been on for about eight eight and a half hours it's 1 30 in the morning i think it's just a little bit later than that 1 30. um my phone's on charge so i can't show you the time but i've just well not just i got back from my mum's about an hour an hour and a half ago so i've applied the lipstick a couple of times um i didn't want to reapply it because i'm taking this makeup off in a second um so yeah i've reapplied the lipstick i've been drinking and things like that this lipstick stays on quite a while that's why i like them i would say they are a demi matte um they're not matte and they're not like a cream 
like when it goes on it feels matte but it feels like it's got moisture in it it feels like the essence ones um, but these last a bit longer so yeah that's the the my thoughts on the lipsticks um the face makeup has held up pretty darn well guys considering it's been on over eight hours and that's the, that's normally the telltale sign of um like kind of wear and tear um the foundation has done a really really good job um the only place i've noticed it coming away is here can you see there it's coming away from the nose a little bit there's not even any any marks on the nose area here i've been wearing my glasses for probably about five or six hours at this point um yeah so there's not really any marks there so you can't really tell i've been wearing my glasses which is bizarre for me because whenever i wear foundations you always have like little marks here um so yeah i'm really really impressed with that foundation i went a little bit crazy with the highlighter um when i got to my mum she went oh you're all shiny um so that's how i know um i went a bit crazy with that um still looking really really nice and glowy so is the blusher um yeah my mum never comments on my highlighter um so yeah um must have gone a bit crazy on that um yeah it's, it's it's held up you know I'm, i i am impressed with the foundation i was impressed with that color icon bronzer well it's they call it a bronzer but it's not really a bronzer it's more of a finishing powder i was really impressed with that as well um and i did my eye makeup in a separate video and i'm really really impressed with that so i'm just going to come closer so you can see what the makeup is looking like I mean it's it's looking good to be honest i i don't actually need to take it off at this point but because it is so late and so well so early in the morning then it needs to come off now and i need to go and put my night cream on and things like that but yeah this this is just the final checking guys hope you've enjoyed the video hopefully it won't be too long please like please subscribe and most of all please leave me a comment down below i love interacting with you guys um so yeah um this is the finished look guys so basically it was just a video on using the most popular wet and wild products out there well the, the most popular ones that i hear about on youtube i wanted to give them a try and i've wanted to give them a try for quite a while now so i'm glad i've had that opportunity they will be coming out in the shop my stash probably next week um so by the time this goes up on, onto the channel you probably would have already seen me pick them out for shop my stash so yeah i really enjoyed filming the video for you guys um thanks for watching um and i will see you in my next video bye